Hey y'all, welcome back. Well, the day makes one year I bought that I put these terabytes on. So I'm going to do a little review, go over snow, mud, regular trails, and highway use. And we're going to grade them 1 to 10 to what it's been for the last year on this Honda Pioneer 1005. So y'all stay tuned. One year ago, I put these terabytes on, it was April 26th of 2021. And uh, so we're gonna cover the review in basically four categories. So highway, road use. Two would be trail riding and rocks and hills and stuff like that. Three would be mud. And four would be snow. And I've actually got some footage of when we tried it in the snow. So. When I first decided to buy the Terabytes, I looked at a lot of different tires, and I really like the design of these. And I don't do a lot of mud riding. I mean, if it's muddy and I go to the least, of course, yes, I'm running through creeks and everything else. But the main purpose was the, the big horns that come on it wore out within about two years. Not only that, the thinner they got, they picked up everything from a piece of barbed wire in the woods to locust trees poking holes in them to everything else. Stobs. I mean, it was ridiculous how many plugs. I had to keep a compressor and a plug kit on this Pioneer all the time and it got frustrating. Now this side by side is street legal. It does have, uh, you know, signals, horn, it's got everything. I'm street legal for Tennessee on 45 mile an hour roads and below. So, I've had one full year of testing on the lease through the summer and everything else, and I would have to give these tires a 9. I would give them a 10, but I've not put them against anything else to compare them as far as a DOT 8-ply tire, but automatically what I noticed, steering was a whole lot better. The road noise was cut at least 50%. I can hear my radio, I can steer better. I actually picked up a couple mile per hour um, on top end. They are just rock solid, a great asphalt tire. Turn around the driveway, they'll mark the driveway a little bit, but it has not affected these tires any. It don't even look like it's took a, I don't know, an eighth of an inch off of them. They have been peerless and I've not had no, I have not had to plug them, not one time. So, as far as, like I said, on road alone and highway use, being an 8-ply DOT approved tire, I would give them a 9 to a 10, a solid 9. They are great, you know, coming from the Bighorn to uh, the Terabyte. So, we'll move on to trail riding. Now, on trail riding, I've not seen a major difference between the Bighorn and the, uh, the Terabytes. The Terabytes have performed just fine. Going up hills with a lot of leaves on them to fall to retrieve deer, and we've got a lot of ridges here in Tennessee. Not had no issue. I could pretty much do them all in two-wheel drive. Uh, they don't seem to have no problem in slate rock or gravel. They don't seem to pick up a lot of rocks and sling them. Uh, you don't hear a lot of stuff hitting the undercarriage when you're driving through rocks and stuff. They manage through the woods great on trails, cut back and forth. The performance is great. Um, trail riding, I give them a solid eight, nine. I mean, just they are a really good trail riding tire. I've not put them against anything on either one of the leases, all three of the leases, that they have not performed at top notch. No slipping, sliding, just handling great. So on um, trail riding, rock, slate rock, stuff like that, just regular trails, leaves, running through the woods, hills, valleys, whatever, these things are, they're, they're well worth the money. Now we'll go to, I'll go ahead and put the snow in here, and I've got a video clip to show you what we done. We got like seven inches of snow in, I believe it was March, late February, March here in Tennessee, the most snow we've got in a couple years. And we got to go play in the snow with these to see how they done, and I took the video camera along, so, I'll show you this clip here. I'm 
me and Miss Kim and Sarah Notice are out playing, putting these terabytes to the test. It didn't do so hot in two-wheel drive, but I'm I'm a little more impressed in uh, with it in four-wheel drive. They seem to at a higher speed. They seem to clear themselves a little better. Turn around here, we all can see. performing a lot better in the snow than what I thought it would. Like I said, two-wheel drive, we did a lot of fish tailing and playing. Put it in four-wheel drive, and uh, you pretty much go wherever you want to uh, at this point. Me and Sarah had, had them out one time before, and uh, in a little bit less snow, but it was more muddy, and we had a, you get in soupy mud with these, it kind of makes a mess, but... I'd have to give the, the turbines the okay for just normal snow playing for it, right? Now, as you seen in that video, when I first got started using them, or was first got off road, it felt a little slippery and everything. You know, it kind of seemed like the tires packed in the snow at a slow speed, and you'd get a little bit of rear end swag back and forth. But as soon as you touch the throttle and let them clean theirself out, they pull pretty good in two-wheel drive. Now, I did put them in four-wheel drive, and I had no issues whatsoever. So, for snow, I'd give them a six to a seven. Just because you might have to put them in four-wheel, you might have to put it in four-wheel drive to, and give it some speed in fields or whatnot, or going up hills, just to clean them out so they'll bite better. Now, me and Sarah did have an episode. Now, this, this I didn't get this on video to where we went in the snow we got in December. And it had rained for like three days and everything was just a mushy, muddy mess. And we got, I think, three or four inches of snow. And we went to retrieve a trail camera after deer season or uh, during deer season. And I was on a sideline on a hill. And I parked and I felt the side by side kind of move. And I thought, well, that's odd. So I went and got the camera and come back. So automatically when I put it in reverse to back out, the rear end spun around and it went downhill. So I put it in four wheel drive and it was just spinning. It wouldn't go nowhere. And I thought, I am in a mess. So I put it in diff lock and got the diff locked in and I was able to maneuver up the hill and there was a blow down tree had been out for several years and I knew that hill was so steep, I backed up into that tree, took it out of diff lock, and then when I punched it and come through the top of that tree, I was able to go all the way up, and it was a very steep graded hill, all the way up and over the top. And um, so the mud and snow together made it a little harder for it to clean the tires. So like I said, I'd have to give it a five to six, just because you can't do it in two wheel, you'd have to go in four wheel. Now, moving on to the very last one is mud. And what I found out with mud, this is not your tire for mud use. It is not. I mean, um, I got in the mud. We had a lot of rain during muzzleloader and rifle here in Tennessee. And there's several spots on our lease that's like a red clay bank that erodes off. And you've got to climb that to get to the peak of the bluff to go out the bluff to different stand locations. And I mean, it's so steep right there. If it's wet and you're walking with your, even with your hunt boots on, you want to slip and slide going up through there. And going up that hill with that red clay mud, it completely packed the rear tires. I had to put it in four wheel drive diff and lock, lock it in just to get up the hill and I actually, it got to spinning and wanting to go down the hill. I had to back down and then take a different path and go up. 
So that intrigued me of why it wouldn't, they just wanted to cake up. So I actually took it down to where river bottoms are when the water's down and uh, I run it through the mud dyer. Now on flat ground, four wheel drive, they clean their self pretty decent at high RPMs or gassing it to make it clean itself. They did a whole lot better that way, but any type of terrain change in just mud, they at a slow speed, two wheel or four wheel, the tires wanted to pack out. And like I said in Tennessee, there's a lot more red clay mud. You know, you get towards Georgia and different places, there's a lot of red clay mud. But um, no, they they really wasn't that good of a mud tire at all. So I I did miss that side of a big horn, more aggressive tractor tread style tire. So if you're looking for a good tire to ride, drive on the street and trail ride and be able to climb hills and everything else in drier conditions or even in snow, this is the tire for you. If you mainly use it, your UTV, whatever making brand it is, if you use it for mud riding mainly, then you need to go with a different tire. Now, that being said, I did go with the stock size tire that replaced. I do have a wider tire in the rear than in the front just because the trail of the side by side. That's the way it was designed. I don't plan on lifting it. Uh, tread, or, uh, skid plates are an option down the road. Now, if you went with a bigger tire, I don't really see where that would be make a big difference in the mud. Uh, it would probably help out with top end or something on your machine if you're on the road, but this this terabyte is not a mud tire whatsoever so if you're trail riding with minute mud they're good if you're in soupy mud or red clay mud you have to be in the throttle and making them clean theirself the whole time or they're just not performing right so i give them an all-around rating of about an eight for my hunting use and i primarily use mine for any type of hunting situation so I hope this video helps. Uh, please, in the comments below, list what tires you're running and what how they perform. Uh, let us know. We feedback. That's what's good about these videos. I've got one year under these, and I'm going to do another one in another year, so when I get two years on them. But y'all drop down below what you're running, if it's a carnivore or whatever. Um, tell, just tell everybody what you're rating them. You know, highway, mud, snow, trail riding. And uh, that way we can all help one another and it'll help everybody uh, pick the, the tire that they, that they want or the tire that, they, that will best perform for their needs. Because not everybody uses UTVs the same way. You're side by side, you know, you might use it for farm, hunting, and again, you might just be a mud bogger. So, but um, anyway, I hope this video helps. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe and like. And as always, God bless. We'll see you on the next video.